Well, welcome back. Uh, unfortunately, this is going to be part two of part one of the E-Gear on the Cheddar Wedge. Um, I was able to finally find Fuse Block 2. Um, man, it took like, I don't know, three hours because most of the documentation online is worthless. Uh, I checked all the forums, um, you know, Googled almost everything and uh, most stuff, especially on Lamborghini Talk, uh, was pointing to um, lifting the panel in the back and on the passenger side, there's a 90 degree bracket that's got fuse panel two. It's got that uh, relay number 15 that I was looking for. Um, well, guess what? It's not on that side. And it wasn't on the driver's side either, you know, just in case they got the curbside, street side mixed up. Um, so I went and looked uh, for 2008 and also kind of cross referenced Super Legera because basically that's what my vehicle is. Um, and it, I think I found one document um, posted like in Germany that said, oh, hey stupid, check up underneath the footwell on the passenger side. It is actually up there buried kind of upside down under the dash, like behind the glove box. Very difficult to see. Um, you know, basically I had to get under there, shine a flashlight. Um, and actually trying to get the, <laughs> the relay out um, and just see which one it was because, you know, of course it's backwards and then the relays are facing up, not down where you can see them. So basically I took my phone, uh, was recording, um, popped it out. And then I was like, you know, be very careful, pop it out check which way the pins are and then as I was bringing it down I hit something on the back of the glove box and then it fell on the floor so I had to go through that whole process again of trying to orientate things and see where um, like the relay was where the pins were um, anyway I got it back in and uh, as I posted earlier uh, on the other video uh, it didn't do anything so um, I ended up immediately uh, contacting Yuri on the F1 forums uh, I got a new motor uh, for the e-gear sent in so um, you know uh, I got a car meet up tonight and a couple other things going on uh, fireworks at the ballpark and so on and so forth uh, so I don't know if I really want to tear into the car now although I do have a couple hours and it should only take about 30 minutes but you know how that's been going lately so um, yeah I'm just uh, I want to get the car up and running I mean it's now been sitting for I don't know, a, a week, maybe a yeah, Saturday. Yeah, I was trying to make it to um, Espresso's and Exotics uh, last Saturday. So that was uh, Thursday, Friday, and, uh, you know, it, it didn't happen. So uh, it's now Friday the following week. So um, I think, regardless, I'm going to get a cold start up for you guys. And I'm going to get this thing backed out, uh, get it in the shade. And uh, I'm going to document this. Um, pretty detailed. I, I know it doesn't seem like it's that difficult. Supposedly just taking off the rear uh, passenger tire and then, you know, the rim and tire, and then taking out the, uh, which is uh, first like 19 millimeter bolts, and then there's uh, I think 10 total uh, torque screws, I believe, uh, or 10, 10 millimeter uh, bolts to take the inner fender well liner out and that just pops out pretty easy um, yeah unlike the uh, Xterra and uh, then uh, motor is supposed to be right there so I figure worst case scenario if I pop that out and the motors like not right there three bolts and it's out um, you know I can at least get the car uh, back in the garage so um, you know and still have an evening but um, again I'm gonna try to document it because I looked all over Lamborghini forums, uh, YouTube, uh, pretty much everywhere. There's no, there's no pictures, there's no documentation, and there certainly is no video, no video of the the problem really, and uh, certainly no video of the fix. So, uh, and and you know, plus I want to give a shout out to uh, to Yuri as well um, because of these motors, and I should have brought one out, but I had my hands full. So I'm gonna go get the uh, motor also. Um, bring that out and kind of show you what it looks like it's uh, you know I, I kind of cross reference the motor itself so that's fine it's kind of OEM it's what uh, uh, basically everyone in uh, Europe uses and uh, and then it looks like what he does is or has done is machine the bracket uh, a little different for either uh, you know Ferrari or uh, Lamborghini and uh, a couple other vehicle so um, 
stay tuned and uh, we're gonna bang this out thanks All right, well now that I got the wheel off, a uh, good time to check the rotors, which a uh, little bit of grooves in them, but uh, other than that, uh, pads are fine. Plenty of thickness there. Parking brake pad is good. Um, you know, heat shields and everything else look okay. Uh, I was just trying to check now. Um, you've got, I don't know, one, uh, two, three, four on here, and then five, six, looks like seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, at least 16 torque screws. And uh, I don't know if this is different on the Super Lajara and the 08 but it looks like I can actually undo one two three four and this will come apart into two pieces because this looks like it's separated and I don't need to take those out so if I can just do this front part and then uh, get at the pump which is about right here and I like this stuff man that's nice and solid after just spending all that time with the Xterra and messing around with those uh, inner fender wells and how brittle they were so all right Well, we're gonna uh, go with that. I'll probably put that on hyperlapse as well and uh, Just see and uh, Not too far into that. That looks like uh, That doesn't look factory A little zip tie around the brake sensor Is that around? Yeah, it's one of the brake sensors or pad sensors um, yeah it looks a little funky uh, coilovers look good never really thought about lowering the back of the car but I guess I could um, might want to look into that later all right well uh, it's not gonna pull itself out Man, I love the way that fills up the whole frame. So uh, this was much easier to take out in two pieces. Um, struggled with trying to figure out what those were originally. But that's just all the heat shielding for the exhaust and uh, um, the muffler in the back. And uh, what I read was correct. There was 12 screws on this side. Um, two up underneath here on the back. Um, that's those two right there. And then you had like uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then I think six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10, 11, 12 across the top. So that's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then on this side, um, again, they came out a lot easier in two pieces once it was separated because then it misses this uh, brake line and uh, it's just easier to get in and out. And that one had. Uh, seven I believe so that's one two three four five six seven so that was correct and then on this side uh, in case you haven't been in here this is just um, heat shielding that's your exhaust kind of the way the cats are uh, the huge ass muffler and uh, I don't like the corrosion on that I gotta figure out what that is um, anyway Everything else looks pretty good. Heat shielding looks good. Um, wrap down here looks fine. This is one of the rads for cooling. And uh, that's the intake for the manifold where the carbs are. They run on both sides. And then getting to uh, why we're here, this is the e gear pump. So uh, this is the accumulator. That's what the little small pressurized tank kind of looks like a I don't know upside down apple um, wanted to check that 
it's got some grease on it but it's not really I mean that kind of just is more um, I don't know like dirt road grime than it is anything that feels like it's new and then uh, there's all your uh, lines and trying to just locate where the the motor is this is the uh, filler tank up there so uh, I'm gonna go grab the motor I got from Yuri and uh, we'll kind of make a comparison uh, but I think I see it just I'm not sure how to get the camera back there it's actually on this side back here so that might be a little more difficult uh, to get at and then uh, I believe that's the fuel tank at least on this side because um, that's where the filler neck comes down but all right well let me go get that motor and see if we can match it up so stay tuned all right well I'm gonna put the camera up in there uh, even if it's just for my own benefit uh, because uh, inside here there's plenty of room um, first things first though let me show you the motor from the outside so that's what we're talking about uh, right there that's the back side kind of nipple looking thing that's the back side of it but uh, you can't get to anything in this area so um, you know it seems like it sucks you still got to kind of take the uh, wheel off and take the fender liner out and then in here um, it's just a matter of, you know, if I if I had done 10 of these before, it would probably be a piece of cake. But since this is my first, um, it might be a little more difficult. So, uh, again, that's the filler neck. This is the gas tank. Um, the motor is right there. And like I said, forgive the camera angles, but I'm going to use this for my own benefit too. Got, um, plenty of space right here that's the motor now I thought and I was hoping that that was actually orientated the other way around that um, all of these lines were on the inside and the motor was sitting like right here where you get at it so uh, I'm gonna have to uh, check the footage now and see what the motor looks like um, based on uh, the new one which I'll show you the comparison uh, it should be three screws or even just a uh, like a strap bracket that holds it in place so, um, I don't know, I was chatting with somebody, they said it was actually uh, pretty easy. Don't know if it was on this model or uh, something else, but gonna go from there, you know. Anything to avoid the dealership, right? <laughs> All right, stay tuned. So, based on what I just showed you, this is what we're looking at. So there's the motor and that's the backside that you can see um, from the engine bay. Uh, there's the connector and then this is the front side that um, you know matches up to uh, the actual pump. So that's the part I said that he's having machined either for uh, F1 or for, for this. So um, again. You've got uh, the two brackets. You got these two little tabs where it screws in, which I can see where that is on the little black 90 degree uh, angle part. And then you've got the one screw that goes into uh, this threaded part. These other ones, um, well actually, these are blank. 
and uh, those two are, are threaded and tapped. So um, if I remember the way that was positioned, it's like, it's sitting like this. And again, it's just changing out the motor. You don't have to mess with the uh, hydraulic lines or, or uh, you know, bleed the system or anything. It's just putting this in. So again, um, I just went in and grabbed the box. I have not actually looked at the footage uh, other than what I could see on the back of um, my GoPro. So I'm gonna go check it out on the uh, the big monitor and uh, kind of take it from take it from there. But uh, yeah, there you there you go. It's as easy as they say. Stay tuned. And one more thing that's good about having the tires off. I found my leak. Look at that. So get the uh, tire plugger out. Get that patched. Um, you know, these are the Pirelli P0s and uh, 20,000 miles. They're the originals. But the um, thing I hate, absolutely hate, about Pirelli P0, even from years ago, is the way they crack. And it uh, doesn't matter, you could have like 10,000 miles on them and their sidewalls just uh, suck. This is too much of an angle, or I'm not sure what they do. Maybe they do it on purpose just so you wear the tire out, but uh, I'm not too thrilled about whatever this is. Got like a, uh, I mean that's pretty deep too. I'm not sure how I would get that coming across the tire like that. I mean it's not... It's not from where it was sat, you know, flat, because I'd have another one like here or over here. But that doesn't look good. Yeah. So I'm going to get a um, set of Michelin um, 4S Pilot Sports um, for this. Just, um, I don't have the money right now. So, um, yeah, but... Uh, Definitely needed. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll have to fix that. So that's definitely where the leaks come. Because I have a slow leak over here, and I patched one on the other side uh, before, which kind of pissed me off. I got ready to go to Cars and Coffee and came out, and I had a flat. So uh, just I pumped it up, and it was good for the day. And then I came home, and yeah, there was like a freaking drywall screw or something in it. Um, anyway, all right, I'll let you guys go. A few moments later. I knew this was going to happen. Uh, well, I pretty much run out of time. Uh, sun's starting to set a little bit. Not, not really. I mean, it, it doesn't get dark here until 9 o'clock now. But um, our car meetup's in uh, like 30 minutes. So I got to get in and got to get washed up. I got to get the uh, roof off the vet. And, uh, you know, I guess I'll take that. Uh, you know, first world problems, I guess. And um, I don't know. I have to mess with this. Uh, in the morning because I still haven't been in and looked at the footage I've, I've just been like looking at everything again it's pretty straightforward it's got like two bolts on the side uh, one on the top left one on the bottom right um, it's just trying to get in there and of course you know working blind so uh, and then also on the inside you know I still gotta fix all this <laughs> So I still got the whole, um, you know, back shelf all torn up. Um, but at the same time, I was, um, you know, actually that's a good thing because I was probably going to uh, take the little uh, Halon fire extinguisher that I have and mount it on the back shelf uh, uh, on this and then, you know, wait for another one to get in because I, I still got to work on the Nash uh, and get the fuel pump uh, installed on that, uh, work on the clutch. So, uh, man, again first world problems right uh so i will you know get back at this in the morning and uh hopefully we'll get it all figured out so see you then